Hello, my magical friends, and welcome to another video. This video is different from the rest that we have done here because it is my first subscription box unboxing. Um, and what makes it more special is it is my first Wizarding Trunk subscription. I have not subscribed to them previous to this, and since starting this channel, I thought, let's give it a go. I have watched other people unbox, and I want to try it out. Um, and this one is the quarterly. They do quarterly and bi-monthly, and it's a quarterly one. And the theme uh, for this Wizarding Trunks box is characters we love to hate. And when they put this out to purchase, they put an image out there for us to see and kind of give a few hints. So I've made some notes here, okay? Um, and I'm gonna put the image above so you can make some guesses too on what to expect. Um, but so here is what I'm guessing will be in this box. As far as the characters go, we have a beetle and a quill on here. So I'm thinking Rita Skeeter, something Rita Skeeter. There's a raven head, um, so Bellatrix because she wears a raven head, um, raven skull necklace. Uh, the frame is obviously Gilderoy Lockhart. The fang, I'm guessing, is Tom Riddle. The plate is obviously Umbridge. I mean, she's not one I love to hate. I just, you know, just skip the love part on that one. Um, and then the ferret, I'm kind of mixed. I'm thinking Draco, or it could be Barty Crouch Jr. slash Mad-Eye Moody, because that's who turned Draco into a ferret, so I'm not sure. Uh, pudding, I'm thinking, you know, I used to call it a cake, uh, but I was sort of corrected when I checked, double checked the internet and it is not a cake, it is referenced as a pudding. Um, so I'm thinking Petunia. The potion I'm guessing is Snape and then what looks like flowers I think might be lavender. So I'm guessing lavender brown. Um, so those are my guesses. <laughs> Let's take a look at this box. Here is the Wizarding Trunk box front. And as you can see on this box, we've got a few hints. Um, we have the beetle. So Rita Skeeter. It says up to no good over here. Let's see. The front here, obviously Umbridge. Come on now. Um, it says fragile, magical delivery on this side. And then etched in here says no more bloody owls, which... I don't recall anybody saying that, so I'm thinking it's referencing the Dursleys because there was a comment about like no more bloody envelopes. So um, did he say that? He might've said that because so many owls came. So I'm thinking Dursleys. And then I'm guessing that this is supposed to be Gilderoy. Um, obviously they can't use the same image. And then this over here says, I shall not tell lies. And then underneath, we have, I'm trying to be very careful. Um, again, they can't do the exact likeness of the um, actress, but that's clearly meant to be Bellatrix Lestrange. And then let's take a peek on the inside here. Who we got? Because I think they normally put something. Ooh, we've got a little rat. So I'm guessing, that was not in the hints, I don't think. I'm guessing that the rat is referencing Peter Pettigrew. Um, that's the only thing I could think of. I'm seeing a little bit of pink right there. Do you see it? Okay, so let's set this down. I think what I'm gonna do is just like reach my hand in, which kind of frightens me. It's okay, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna peek first. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, here we go. I will show you what we're seeing here. <laughs> There's an obvious spoiler right away. So we have a little rat slash mouse. Here is the front of the little mousey mouse. <laughs> it's very soft, a very thick tail. Um, you know what? I I don't hate it. I, I know that's not really selling it. I don't hate it. Um, obviously, Peter Pettigrew for this one. I do have a rat and it's the Noble Collection plush rat, which I much prefer. Um, but I will say they, they did do it accurately. So if you'll notice here, there's three toes, three toes, and then just two. So they did do that accurately. And the tail is very thick, which is accurate for a rat, and soft. 
I think the face is the only thing I feel needs improvement. It's a little cutesy. Um, I don't think of Peter Predigrew as cutesy, although he's much more bearable as a rat. <laughs> so there we go. We've got Peter Pettigrew. Okay, what do we do next? Well, I quite, oh God, I quite dislike Umbridge. So let's see what we've got here and pink, but we've got a very pink thing, but I'm kind of excited because I don't think I have anything Umbridge and I wouldn't mind having something Umbridge. So we've got a very, uh, no peeking Aubrey, rectangular here. We're going to shut this. <laughs> I'm a very tempted person. Um, rectangular thing. So I'm thinking a quill because it says, um, I will not tell lies. Did they do a quill? I don't have a quill. I want the quill from Noble Collection, um, but it's not available on the US site. So I would have to go through a third party source. Okay, let's take a look, see. What have we got? We do, we have a quill. I'm trying to remember her quill is kind of laying flat. So here we are, here's the quill. Actually, I'm not gonna take it out. So it's like a peacock feather, which I really need to, recall in my brain here what kind of feather hers was. I recall it being very, I'm using the word recall a lot because um, I'm having, a, I need a little memory vial here, a little pensive. Um, so yeah, so here is, I'm curious if it actually is a quill. It, I, I think so, like meaning it can function as one. There is a lot of detail on it and it's got the holder, the base there and a little bow and um, I'm very much hoping this is not a real peacock feather. I would guess not, but yeah, there you go. We have got Umbridge represented. I wasn't sure what they would do if they were gonna do like a plate, like typical or something cat related. I would not have been opposed to cat related. All right, Peter Pettigrew and Umbridge. Who else have we got? We can look now. We have got, okay, let's do, I'm not a huge lover of these, so I'm gonna do this one next. And that, those, that, that is um, the keys that are done by a handful of crates. So I think that this one, let's open it first. It's very heavy. It's clearly metal. Yeah. And this feels very Ministry of Magic. We've got some serpents on there. It says MM. It's kind of like a blueish purple color with green and black accents. I think the only thing I'm not a huge fan about with these chonky keys is I like things very realistic to how a key would be. And it doesn't, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's not my cup of tea, but I know they're super popular for a lot of people. So there you go. Um, so there might be a lot of people that enjoy that quite a lot. So, um, and yeah, Ministry of Magic is definitely a um, love to hate or just hate, you know, just, you know, just again, skip the love part. Okay. Do we do a big item? I want to, no, I can see, I'm going to do the ones I can see. So I lifted one up and we have, this is what I'm seeing. We have some form of a plate. So are we getting umbrage twice? Are we getting umbrage twice? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know why I felt a little emotional there. Here, <laughs> I'm a cat lover. I have three cats. Uh, it's the one thing I like about Umbridge. And she also has like her own style. It's not a style I love, but it just works for her. Okay. Here it is. I think this one is just perfection. <laughs> as far as like being a plate, I've seen a handful of these plates done uh, by subscription boxes and um, I've never received one myself. I don't know where I will put it, but I will find a spot. I actually like it. And now I just, I have a few Umbridge items. I do not have any. So here, let me show you in detail. You've got these two cats in the middle, little kittens, and then the roses around the edge. Yeah, again, it feels like something that would be on her wall and it's proper ceramic. Cool. Okay, let's do, I'm seeing what appears to be a potion. I'm also a little picky about potions, so let's take a look. Ooh, it is a very goldy color, which will really work for Christmas time and what I am um, doing with decor. 
those videos will come out soon. So here is what I'm seeing. Oh, and it's double-sided. Okay. Why am I forgetting what that is? Okay, so it says pure blood apothecary, powdered root of asphodel. Why am I not remembering what that is? Hopefully when we get to the cheat sheet, which, hey, they didn't put the cheat sheet at the top. Thank you so very much. Um, it, I'm guessing it's at the bottom. So, and then we have a seal on the top that says pure blood apothecary. I really like the seal. Here is the seal on the top. Lots of detail there. And then the front. And the back says um, powdered root, same thing, crushed and hand ground with a oh, sorry, with a brass mortar and pestle. I really like that um, the back side is represented. The back side, <laughs> that's what she said, okay? Um, because... I feel like sometimes things get neglected when you're looking at every side of it. Okay, wait, so who's that supposed to be? Pure blood apothecary, I'm assuming, wait, I'm guessing Snape. Um, I mean, he's the potions guy. Powdered, I don't know. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna do this bigger item. So we have a box here. Just a plain box. Plain boxes are not bad because they, some, I like things that give away a little bit and you kind of can guess, but a little light, it moves around. I'm gonna open it this way. Styrofoam, breakable maybe? Okay. All right, let's put this down here. What have we got? There's a little piece of plastic over top. Oh my god i opened it upside down oh my god oh my god i really like this oh i really like this i've been seeing versions of this i kind of want to make one myself oh my god it's like literally the pudding yes i love it i love it oh obviously dursley's i don't have one of these i know subscription boxes have done these as well but this is a nice size. What did, what, let's see, I'm thinking resin is what this is made of. So here, it's got all the detail of the pudding. I'm gonna be careful with it. So, you know, the whole side is the same. Here is the top. Let me look at it. Oh, we got the little flowers in there. Um, the bottom is just a plain, so it can sit properly, but I was kind of hoping there would be a cake in there. And there is. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but. I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I'm never sure with subscription boxes if I'm going to keep every item, but I really like it. Okay. <laughs> Next up. Okay. We've got two boxes. Let's do a smaller item. I am seeing this right here. So what have we got? Earrings? Oh, are these earrings? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Now look, I do have a pair of earrings like this, but to see a subscription box, I understand that earrings are, if if you are somebody who does not wear them, um, are not, their earrings are not worn by everybody. So I understand that um, that might be problematic for some or just not their cup of tea. But Bellatrix Lestrange, my friends, those are raven skulls. And if you look at Bellatrix Lestrange's necklace, it's a very pointy raven. I looked it up because I was Bellatrix this year. Um, the eyes are very defined and the uh, beak is very defined. Let me see if I can hold it up without making too much noise. It is coming out there. Here we go. So here is the front and you can see the detail on the side. Yes, I'm here for this. I'm here for this. I am keeping <laughs> these. I am wearing these. Let me tell you, I love it. The ones that I have, I think are from Joanne. Um, but they're not quite as pointy a look and it's quite, it's long if you look up Bellatrix's necklace. Okay. Okay. We're peeking. We're peeking. What have we got? Woo! I had a feeling I was going to like, um, oh, that one's heavy. Okay. Let's do the lighter one. I had a feeling I was going to like a love to hate because I can be a little dark, a little dark in the soul. And I tend, I mean, one of my favorite characters in Harry Potter is Snape. He's an amazing character, but I don't love to hate him. I just love him. Okay. I'll just love me some Snape. All right. We've got a Ministry of Magic. Um, it almost feels like a cabinet. It's got a lock on it. There's a seal on the back and a number. 
Okay, let's see what we got. This is feeling like a styrofoam inside. It is a styrofoam inside. Okay, is this a breakable item? I am so excited about this crate. Okay, here we go. What have we got? Oh, yes. Okay, I was looking at one of these made on Etsy, and that is the, um, hold on, let me get a cat hair off of it. I don't know how that appeared. Um, proclamation, declaration. This right here. And it's like an ornament. Like I could put it up as an ornament. Um, I feel like there could be a little bit more definition and detail in the actual proclamation, but otherwise I quite, I quite dig it. Um, yeah, I almost feel like that was a little bit bigger, but yet I remember the proclamations don't fill out the space as much um, as I'm like thinking. So there we are. And here's the back. It's on a chain. It, this one, I would say this is a resin too. It's a heavier resin. This is a heavy ornament. Um, so if you do like a Halloween tree or something, um, or even, I mean, you can hang these kinds of things all over the place. Not necessarily a tree. Did I show that up close? Severely punished. Any student, oh, any student in possession of an autofill quill will be severely punished. That's what it says. Because you know those proclamations, there's so many of them because that woman is crazy. Yes. Okay. Do we do, let's do this item that I can kind of see. So we have an item. It looks like a ring. Is it like a crest ring? I don't know. I don't know. Let's open it. Okay. And it looks like it's in a Ziploc bag inside. Now, Clearly, off the bat, this ring, and I've seen other rings done by subscription boxes, it's not going to fit on my finger. Um, but that can be a displayable thing. I like this. Okay, I am a Gryffindor, but I feel a lot of the time I can be very Slytherin-y. Um, and, and I've kind of wanted more snake, snake representation in my house. And if you've seen the Halloween hauls we've done, um, God, I've made a hot mess here. You just can't see it. I got quite a few snake things, which is very surprising because I am terrified of them. But this snake looks adorable. I love it. Look at it. Okay, let's get real close here. Can we see? Can we see the adorableness? We're all over the place. Why are we not focusing? Here we go. So the side looks like scales. I'm going to pull back some. And there's the front. I love me some contrast on things. And I like that the black background really gives a contrast. Let's see. Does it fit? Does it fit? No, no. But that's okay. I think this can just sit out. And it's little tongue. Do you see its little tongue? Oh, the detail. I love detail. Thank you for taking the time to put detail in these things. Okay, what do we do? We got, I see two pins in here. They're upside down. Um, but I think I'm going to open the last box. Oh, I am loving this. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Again, we've got just a plain box, but it's like pretty heavy and rectangular. That's the word I'm looking for. So let's take a peeksy poo. We've got more styrofoam. Are we breakable? Oh, my wordy word. Okay. What have we got? I don't know. I've got it upside down. Let's look. Okay, I have some, I have some thoughts. So first off, we have got um, the Prisoner of Azkaban um, sign, the number, if you recall, it is different. This one is different. So I think they've done kind of their own take, if I recall correctly, as far as the number that is on here, it's like three something, something. I don't know. I'll make a note above if I'm wrong or show an image. I will put up here of what that one looks like. I think my comment on this is because this is something that I'm looking to uh, hand make myself um, because I it, I think it's possible, is that it, it does need a bit of detail. So this is very, very plain and um, the actual one is very textured and has a bit of depth and a, and a little um, like depth as far as coloring goes because of the texture. So I feel like if it had that, because it has the nice like burnt 
edges around the numbers. Here it is up close. But as far as like a simple Azkaban representation, it does the job. So there you go. All right, we've got two pins. I'm gonna do the smaller one. Here is the back. I see paper products. Okay, here we go. What have we got? I'm gonna show you first. It feels... Squad, why don't I remember who wore this? Why don't I remember who wore this? That's always my fear on here. It's like, you're not enough of a fan. You suck. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up. Well, no, I'm gonna find out in the sheet. Um, but we know the badges. The, I've seen many of the others. Um, but why am I? It's purple. Is this like? Wait. Is this? No. I'm not gonna guess. I'm not gonna guess. We're just gonna wait. Okay. So then we've got another pin which feels really chonky, or not chonky, but big. And I don't, I don't tend to go for large pins. Um, because I don't find them very wearable, but I might be doing a pin display. So that would, that would work on there. So let me, I just looked at it and I love it already. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wizarding trunk. You know, for my first wizarding trunk, I am impressed. <gasps> all right. All right. All right. You guys, here it is. Oh wait, it's attached. Very big. And again, they can't use the likeness of these characters, but we've got the Malfoys. Oh my gosh. Um, God, why am I forgetting her name? Narcissa. So we've got Lucius, Draco, and Narcissa. And um, obviously illustrated by somebody else to do their own take. I like the way they did her hair. We've got really nice um, framing in the frame. I like the design in the frame. I feel like we could have done without the edge or just made that edge be one, but I think I appreciate all the detail. I like detail. So there you go. Very big. Um, would not be worn. It is double clasped, so I appreciate that. I will say um, I'm not a fan of these backings. They don't tend to hold, and especially on big ones. I like the, but I do ha have some, so I can always swap them out, the ones that lock into it, um, because I don't want to be losing the pins I love. All right, we have one more item before we get to the paper products. Grunnings Drills is what I'm seeing. Why am I forgetting what that's from? Oh, it's in a Ziploc here. It feels like a faux leather look and almost like, this feels like a little kit. Here's the front, like it looks like it opens here. Here's the side. What have we got in here? Oh, it's a snap. So here's the snap. It literally is like a little mini drill kit. That's clever. I, I just, um, here, let me show you the inside before I ramble on as it just falls right out. Um, here we go. Can we do this? So the drill is right here. And if you're not familiar with little, um, or not drill, screw uh, holder, um, and then you've got all the bits in there. And these are great for uh, like repairing a computer. I mean, I have a frame right now that I had to go ask my husband for his computer um, screwdriver. I don't need to do that anymore because I got me a whole set and they've got all kinds. I love functional things and I have seen so many subscription boxes and received them. And sometimes I do go, what am I going to use this for? <laughs> like, I like not things just being for display, although I, I don't mind that too. This will be displayed for sure. But I, I like things that are useful that I would use. So I'd use that. All right, now we're getting into paper products. So the first one we have is the Enchanter, which I believe is their own version. Um, love, love, love the coloring. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Up close. Here is the back. Ooh, I love how interactive this is. So here's the first page. Lives and lies of the notorious, of notorious witches and wizards. And we've got, I actually have a Harry Potter, like, um, activities book like it's meant for kids but I don't care I have muggle meetings to attend and they're hella boring okay so I need to entertain myself here's another that's the center page there 
And I just, I love, love, love the detail. Oh my gosh. I'm going to sit and like look through this sometime. So there we go. We've got some paper products. Yes, yes, yes. And then I think, ooh, what is this? What's this? What's this? I'm trying to read what it says because there's so much gold foiling and I love me some gold foiling. So here's the front of this paper product. And it says, most charming smile. This certificate is awarded to, and you can write your name on it. Clearly a Gildor Lockhart reference. Winner of the annual Most Charming Smile Award in association with Magical Monthly Magazine. That is so much fun. I love the creatures. I love all the representation. Here's a little bit more in detail. And so that's where you would write your name. Very cute, sweet. Is there no cheat sheet? Oh, it's back here. Okay. So here is what was on the back there uh, or the bottom of the box. The little Bellatrix. Um, so we've got the manor key. Oh, not the Ministry of Magic. It's the manor. This key will get you into the manor, but be careful. The residents aren't the nicest bunch. This is accurate. Most charming award, smile award. Yes, we saw family ring worn by one of the youngest people we love to hate. Draco wore that. The snake. Slytherin. Yes, Aubrey. Okay. Numbered plaque. We already know what that is. Um, we know that the bird skull earrings. I squad pin. Would you have joined this squad for the extra credit? Okay. I, I don't recall what that is. That's talking about this pin here. So I don't recall who wore that. I really felt like there was a lavender brown reference that is purple. Did she wear that? I, I didn't. <laughs> lavender brown was not one of my favorite characters, <laughs> which is fits perfectly into the love to hate. Um, common rat declaration ornament, powdered root. This very, this ingredient is very useful in potion making bottled by pure blood apothecary. Yep. We rent that enchanter mini pudding cake. Yes, yes, yes. Peacock feather quill with stand. Yeah, so there's the back just to show you a little bit of um, all of the items. So there is everything from the Wizarding Trunk characters we love to hate. I will tell you, as far as my favorite items, for sure, at the top, surprises me like crazy. We are not cursing on here. <laughs> Surprises me a lot because uh, one is Umbridge and one is the Dursleys, which, you know, love to hate. Love, love, love these. Thank you, Wizarding Trunk. Um, I quite like this. Again, I'm very picky about potions. While this isn't a liquid potion, it looks like sugar. This looks like um, like almost cinnamon and brown sugar um, or uh, like a turbinado sugar. Love the earrings. Love the earrings. What else we got here that I really love? Um... I do like this, but I, I feel like it is a bit too big for me, so I'd have to figure out where I would put that. I think those are my top ones. You tell me down below um, which one is your favorite item and what character do you love to hate most? I think, I don't know who what character I love to hate most. Probably, probably anybody that is a Malfoy. I love the Malfoys. Um, and... I will say, I wish there was something a little bit more snape -y, but I think the potion is, you know, supposed to be Snape. So me, I just love Snape. So there you go. That is the Wizarding Trunk characters we love to hate. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for being here. And remember, my magical friends, to love what you love with everything that you have, all of the things, and keep making magic. And I'll see you next time. Bye.